Fly for Life, I would say, defines the love for flight. The Fly for Life spirit is just showing that we're enjoying this and sharing it together. If it's always about good times and, and sharing and, and bringing everyone together and doing all kinds of flying, and, and I'm super, super happy to be a part of it now. When Fly for Life became a little bit smaller, with just me and Luis basically staying in the team as active members, the team lost a little bit of the essence of what it was, because for some people it might seem like uh, it's more about the camps and, and that kind of stuff, like the teaching that we do, and that's a big part of it. But the biggest part for us is to be able to have a strong group that shares the same passion and shares the same drive for, for skydiving and allows us to come together and create and share with each other our knowledge and just our different ideas and approaches to different aspects of flying. And we both pitched in ideas on possible candidates to join the team, but I think it was quite natural. You know, like the people, all of the new team members, we have already spent a bunch of time with either working for camps, traveling around the world, and just sharing life. And it's just people that we thought that kind of like follow the same line as we do in terms of what we like and passion and the type of personalities. And I think it was pretty organic, but everybody brings uh, something different into the table. Everybody has different qualities and different tools. And I think all together creates a, a really powerful venture, you know. Man, I don't, I don't have too many words to describe how does it feel to be part of the team. It's just crazy. It's like these guys are people that I have been looking up to them since basically I started skydiving. And now to have the chance to call them my teammates is, is just unreal. It's just, it's just amazing. It's kind of it's a little bit hard to process. And sometimes I try to live as much present as possible and to actually enjoy this new journey because it's just unreal. We have big plans in terms of what we want to do with the school and with the camps and we also have pretty cool plans on what we want to do for our personal training and growth and personal projects like videos and, and just different type of projects like this. But I think ultimately it's about being able to share life together and share adventures, travel and, and go around the world doing fun stuff, you know, skydiving and not skydiving. And to me, that's really what I care about the most. It's funny because uh, in the beginning when we started like Fly for Life that we had like the four initial members, you know, when, we, when Claudio and Richie joined in and mm -hmm. stuff and we started moving on, uh, we always said that Fly for Life was never going to have any more people, that it was us and that's it, you know. But uh, after a while, you know, I feel like once uh, Richie and uh, Manny were not really active in the sport, uh, just Claudio and I being by ourselves, you know, I think we were definitely missing a little bit of, of power. We were, we were definitely like still inspired to fly. We really like to to be on it and doing it, but but we were missing a little bit like the the team and the family to to share our passion with, you know, uh, which we felt like we had before with uh, with the four of us, and uh, so we like kind of like. It kind of was like an idea of both. We kind of like mentioned it more or less at the same time. Like we started talking and we were both like, 
right on the same page and we started like kind of going to people mentioning names and like thinking people that could like obviously not only be a uh, high le high level flyers you know with experience in skydiving with like passionate people you know but also like looking for the right personalities of course you know which uh, for us was like I think like the hardest thing to to really come through you know In a way, it was always a dream. Like, Fly for Life is a massive uh, name in the sport, in the culture of uh, body flying. So when they actually approached and, and brought it up that they wanted to add me to the team, like, I don't know. It was shocking. It was uh, super exciting. It was emotional, extremely emotional that having like Claudia and Luis just like sitting up in front of you and asking you to join the team that you've uh, looked up to for many years. I feel proud of uh, the road and all the people that has been behind and supportive. I, I feel it's, it's a payback for, it's make, it makes me emotional just to think about it. And I think it's a payback to all the people that has just been so supportive uh, throughout many years. I felt surprised at first. Uh, I, I, it took me. It definitely took me a few seconds to, to understand that this was was real because uh, it's not something that I was anticipating at all. Not even in my wildest dreams. Not even in my dreams at all. Like this is so uh, different from anything that I've done before. And Claudio did it, played it really well. He he made it sound like I was in trouble. Like I did something wrong with one of the groups or. One of the participants had complained about me. I was like, now we have to talk about something that happened. 
um, and then yeah, and they obviously it was a joke, and they at that point they asked me to to join, which was a like awesome surprise. I, ne I was never expecting this. It's definitely a great challenge. So I, I took it as a obviously feels good to, to be asked by, by some of the best in the world, but the challenge that it represents for me is also uh, something that was very appealing to me. So I still remember years ago, I lived in Emperor Brava in Spain. I was going really big with my flying, like that was all I was doing, skydiving and tunnel flying. And then with a few friends, we saw the first Fly for Life videos and it was like super inspiring. I didn't really know any of the guys at that point too well. And then bit by bit started meeting them in different events around the world. And I feel like it started from that inspiration and then being able to jump together and them being my coaches. And then when I started working for Fly for Live, uh, these guys have been mentors. And now we're, we're in the team, like we're teammates. So it's a pretty cool uh, journey. So even though my husband is my teammate as well, uh, I was really surprised when the whole thing came up if I wanted to be a part of the team. And um, I believe it was Luis who brought it up first. And it's pretty cool also, because when they asked me to be a part of the team, like I was pregnant, expecting a baby, and not really knowing where my flying is gonna go. And, and I really appreciate that that was not an issue. Like I remember Luis asking me, it's like, well, are you still gonna keep jumping? And I said, yes, and he's like, awesome. So it's cool to be a part of it, because I feel like it was such a band of brothers that I didn't really expect that I would be <laughs> invited in, but I'm really uh, stoked about uh, the new team and everyone who's in it and being able to be a part of it. My biggest goal as a team member is to keep having fun. It sounds kind of cheesy, but it's true. I think I would stop skydiving if I'm not having fun anymore because it doesn't make any sense. Uh, at that point, it will become just work. So I'm super looking forward to keep having fun, to keep having those uh, organic moments where we're just living the moment and sharing with each other. I'll say those are the moments that, are, for me, are the most priceless. And I hope we can keep having a ton of those moments in the future. Fly for Life for me, obviously Fly for Life, like, yes, it's a, it's a school, we do camps, we, we fly, we create media, we like to do all this stuff, we like to do demos when it's possible, we like, we like to fly, right? But more than that, I think, like, Fly for Life, uh, for me, has become more like a lifestyle, in a way.